Welcome back to uh, Mother 2 in the last part. Uh, stuff. Kraken. We're in a pyramid now. We yeah. low key defeated the Kraken. The fierce shattered man. He doesn't look very shattered to me. He's feel shattered like on the inside. Yeah, I feel like if you were shattered on the inside, you'd have a hard time being fierce, unless it was your soul that was shattered. Maybe it was. Maybe he loved and lost. Maybe That's it's really shattered. Poor guy. Maybe it's shattered in the fact that most of his organs are gone because he's a mummy. Uh, that, that would explain it. Like that would work. That's a very valid point you have there. Just, you know, I'm just kind of guessing here. Low key, no organs. Just like we low key defeated the Kraken. Yeah, Honestly, really though, ones. mummies are just are just corpses wrapped in bandages. Basically, like, and treated with embalming fluids and stuff. Oh my goodness, is that like a cave drawing that we're- A hieroglyph? Making? Yes, we're fighting a living hieroglyph. Oh my gosh. Huh. Smash! It's a pretty detailed hieroglyph, but... You know, I'm no hieroglyph expert. Mm-hmm. I'm not one either. Ta-da! <laughs> Chests have woe and caskets have ta-da. I know, they're so excited. You think the thrill of opening up a casket or a, or a chest would kind of wear off after a while, but no. They just get so excited. Well, I mean, would you be excited, Carrie? Maybe the first couple of times. Especially if the first time had something interesting. Would you actually yell woe if you opened one the first time? I don't know, I don't usually yell as a rule. Oh yeah, but that's a fair point. I'm not sure. Um, you know, now that I think about it, this is just normal shit for Nintendo. Cause I mean, you have to think about how dramatic it is whenever Link opens a treasure chest in a Zelda game. Mm. Okay, I guess the dr I guess the dramatic portion of it didn't pop up until Ocarina of Time, but my point still oh my stands. Or what? Petrified Royal Guard. I thought that was the, like a casket that came and chased us. Did it turn into the Royal Guard? Um, the uh, overworld models don't match what you actually see on the screen a lot of the time. Yeah, I, I can see. Like um, <laughs> yeah, like in in Own It when you uh find a snake in the overworld, and when you go into the battle scene, it's a snake. So what? Honestly, though, a, a more literal example is um a lot of uh Gygus's, uh minions um just like. You know, just the straight up henchmen um, appear as uh, like these little rotating floating diamond things, and um, then they don't look like that when they're on that. Is that is that rum raisin right there? Rum raisin. You know, actually, in the English translation, they changed his name because rum was in there. Oh, rum, we can't. Really? The kids thinking. Yeah, even though rum okay raisin is a kind of rum. ice cream. Yeah. They changed it to ram raisin. Ram raisin? Oh my That's gosh. Wow. Bad. That's a. Keep in mind, this is the early 90s, and Nintendo was extremely stingy on um censorship at that time. Hmm. Watch out for that, that hieroglyph. You know, you gotta. Gotta watch out for those writings on walls. They can they can hurt you. Yeah, yeah, and the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls. Hmm. Whoa, that one was fast. Mm-hmm. It You're was fast. so fast because you gotta go fast. Mm-hmm. But no, just like I believe it was just games on Nintendo systems in general that had like so much censorship to them, and like a lot of it, like that includes religious reference. Like if you look at the manual for the original Castlevania, the um. The uh, cross um, sub weapon is uh, labeled as the boomerang, which I mean, technically it is a boomerang, so that works. But the uh, holy water is called the fire bomb, even though it still looks like holy water. What? what? Okay, I feel like a fire bomb is like more dangerous and and more like heated than I mean heated not the fire, but it's fire, but just like in the 
type of reactions they could get than holy water. What? Well, I mean, keep Firebomb it... is so much more violent. <laughs> well, I mean, holy water is still holy water. I mean, you're fighting the minions of Dracula, so. Which would make total sense about it being holy water. Yeah, but you can't have any religious references, so bad. Right. But you can have fire bombs. It's not a religious reference. Also, bombs are cool, so says kids, so... Yeah, because violence is cool. Well, I mean, keep in mind, like, throughout uh, the uh, 50s and 60s, uh, TV was so focused on censoring sex that they didn't really censor violence that much. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it's purple. It's purple! Why is it purple? Why is the Guardian General purple? It's almost iridescent. It's in a way. It's glowing. Yeah, it's like an iridescent purple. What do you think about the color purple, Will? I think it's actually pretty good. It goes with a lot of different things, and depending on the brightness and the brilliance that you can set on the color, it can either be a very vibrant and active color, or it can be very solemn or royal. You know, it's got a lot of uses, and you can put it with a lot of color schemes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It also works very well as a main color. Let's say you've got a background of a bunch of neutral colors, black, whites, grays, you know, dark blues. It works as its own primary color as well, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To bring up good points. I thought so. Yes. <laughs> I approve. Well, Not that you're looking for my approval or anything. I'm looking for your approval, Carrie. Well, I... Okay, I'll give it to you here. I was gonna withhold it, but whatever. Thanks. You're my friend. My friends get my approval. <laughs> Not Why didn't you give it, it to him earlier, then? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I just gave him more. Oh, that's... I'm so happy I got approval. Yay. What did I get approval for? Existing. You're low. Yay! Like how Carrie and I had two very different ideas we of what, <laughs> what it was. Wait, I didn't even hear what Will said. I said, I uh, I'll, you're alone. You're alone? You gotta prove your loan. You gotta prove for your loan. <laughs> Please, sir, you have to let me marry your daughter. I can't let you marry her. I am very firm about this. And then he turns to stone, because he was firm. I get it. Kinky. That joke came from an anime. And did it come from the show Anime? Yes, it came from a show called Anime. I like that show. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, I've talked about this show on here before, so yeah, it came from bo 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 A series full of puns to begin with. Yeah, isn't that that crazy one that you told me about before? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing but stupid humor, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Uh... And they're gonna have buns of steel after climbing all these stairs. Oh my gosh! They're Dude, gonna have like Mario's butt. <laughs> I was just about to say they're gonna have a they're gonna have an ass as great as Mario's. <laughs> it's been a while since we've mentioned that. Well, I mean, and Mario's got It's still a pretty good butt. Yeah, it's just... It's a great <laughs> ass. They're gonna be able to jump to the top of this pyramid in one go after all of this stair climbing. Oh, just kidding, you fell. And honestly, Ness is in the prime of his youth with such a great ass, so he's gonna be going places. <laughs> before Ness becomes a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, Pooh learned uh, healing Gamma, so now he can revive people on his own. We don't need, like, special oh. items for it. Excellent. I mean, yeah, at, I mean, it uses up psychic points, but still. Honestly, cup of li Cups of Life noodles are still much more viable. Cup of Life noodles. That's You're wonderful. more viable. Thanks, Will. You're welcome. <laughs> like, how do I... Wait, 
Wait, then what's the difference between healing and life up? Healing cures status effects. Life up heals you. Okay. Are you poisoned? No, cold. It's oh. like poison, but it does less HP damage. Okay. Like, a cold really only does about 4 HP damage. While poison does like 20. That's more than 4. Yeah, that's more than that's 4. That's 5 times more than 4. Whoa, Carrie's good at math. Wow. No, raking out those ah, multiplications. It's a tornado! Oh, oh no, it's just a guy. Well done! You have made it! Jesus. Oh, hey, he healed us. We finally meet Prince Pooh. Oh, he's the guy we saw before. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. Now it's time for me to pass on the technique for making stars rain down. Oh, that sounds really scary. For a while, you like must PK live special. far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while. Do you understand? This technique yes, for causing stars to rain down will mo most likely prove vital to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I will see you again. It depends on Pooh's efforts that will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait until the time comes. Oh, there they go. Honestly, it doesn't depend on Pooh's effort. It really depends on your own because you can pretty much stall as long as possible until the point comes where he rejoins the group. You know? Is there Because it's a video game. This is true. <laughs> Do you have to reach a certain place? Yeah, you have to. You have in to reach. You have to reach a certain point in the game before he comes back. It's pretty standard okay. stuff. I don't know, that's just the, the wind theme. I'm not sure if it was the dungeon, dungeon man, man, but there is a strange looking tower to the northwest. This key I picked up a little while ago shall maybe open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it. This is the key that the other guy Dude, was that guy is wearing a suit. Yeah, man, if anybody's gonna get heat stroke, it's gonna be him. Well, I mean, he's got a turban. Are those good for heat? I'm not sure I've never worn one. At it, least he's by a little oasis, though. It's only really good uh, when, like, wearing more clothes in the heat is actually good for keeping in moisture, so he's not going to be dehydrated. Because huh. mm. um, it keeps all the water stuck to you. Um, and so you keep all the moisture in you. Uh, you don't get dehydrated this quickly. Mm. That's That's pretty good. I guess. That's pretty grape. Mm -hmm. Pretty grape. Yeah, can't you just, like, if you're about to get sunstroke in this game, can't you just jump into the oasis? No. That would be nice. Sorry, but this game is dumb, so you can't do it. Aww. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll take- yeah, you're gonna buy this fry pan from me for $600? That's quite a lot. <laughs> also, a goddamn crusher beam from the same guy who sells a frying pan. <laughs> that was my problem. Oh, multi-bottle rocket. <laughs> Get a bazooka and some beef jerky. The multi-bottle rocket is the best kind of bottle rocket Jeff can get. Okay. Holy shit, there was a rare enemy and I completely ignored it. Ooh, what enemy was it? I didn't see it in the corner. It's like a centip criminal centipede or something. I believe it's, uh -oh, it's, it's called something like that. Uh-oh, it's the floating pyramid. It's a diamond, Next actually. Time on Smash Team Games. Oh, Carrie announced it that time. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the floating diamond pyramid thing.